begin a side stall, make sure that you're starting in a squat with your knees tight together. Whether you're doing right or left side, make sure both palms are planted firmly on the ground. Before you push your weight over, you want to make sure that your elbows are attached to the side of your leg and then let the side of your head gently touch the floor, making sure your pressure is not on your neck. To begin your chest stall, you're gonna start on your knees with your knees spread apart and you're gonna plant your hands on the floor, making sure your fingers are turned out and your wrists are close together. Your elbows are coming into your rib cage for support. Make sure that you practice this with plenty of space so if you fall forward or backward, you won't hit anything. And please always practice headstands with adult supervision. You're gonna begin in a squat and we're gonna make a triangle with your head being the point of the triangle and your hands being the back points. So planting the hands on the floor, your head goes above your hands. Make sure that your hands are not beside your head, but your head is ahead of the hands. You're gonna bring your knees to your elbows. And once you have your balance there, engaging your core and squeezing, you're going to keep your knees tight and extend your legs all the way up. Make sure you're not arching your back. There's not pressure on your neck and you're gonna extend them up with flexed feet. You don't wanna arch your back. You wanna squeeze your tummy so you're in one straight line and then fold and squeeze those knees back into your chest to lower back down into a squat. Make sure you do not flip into a back bend. To keep your body safe from injury, bring your knees back into your chest and lower into a squat. 